Hi, I'm Francesca and the group leader of this project. Today we are going to share with you our project titled Antimicrobial Properties of Common Seasoning Extracts on E. coli found in retail chicken meat. My group members are Risha, Jeremy, Ashiki, and Jasper. Now I shall pass the time to Jeremy to share more about this project. E. coli is commonly found in the lower intestine of warm-blooded organisms. Most strains are harmless, but some may cause food poisoning and other infections in humans. Bacterial infections are usually treated with antibiotics. However, there are increasing researches that common seasoning extracts from garlic, turmeric, and wasabi are effective in the growth inhibition of certain species of bacteria. In this project, we are interested to determine which types of common seasoning is best to inhibit growth of E. coli and their effectiveness as compared to common antibiotics. Now I will pass the time to Jasper. We extracted and identified E. coli, a gram-negative bacteria stain strain from raw chicken meat using the gram staining method. Gram staining involves three processes. Staining with a water-soluble dye known as crystal violet, decolorization and counter-staining with saffronin. Gram-positive bacteria have a thicker peptidoglycan layer which retains crystal violet stain during the decolorization process. However, gram-negative bacteria lose the crystal violet stain and are instead stained by saffronin in the final staining, staining process, making them pink. I shall now pass the time to Risha. Common seasoning extracts from garlic, turmeric and wasabi are used in meat preparation. They have recently been shown to be effective in inhabiting the growth of certain species of bacteria. Although further testing is needed to assess their ability as potential antimicrobial agents. Garlic has been widely used for centuries in food enhancement and disease prevention. In 1989, Dr. Tariq Abdullah, a prominent garlic researcher, stated that garlic is antibacterial antifungal, antiparasitic, antiprotozoan, and antiviral. As such, we propose that garlic has the best antimicrobial effect against E. coli as compared to turmeric and wasabi. We prepared 2 grams of garlic, turmeric, and wasabi respectively by pounding and mixing them with water. As we were unsure if the antimicrobial agent is water-soluble or not, we decided to test the, their microbial activity using the solution and the residue obtained. Now I'll pass the time to Francesca. A total of nine plates were prepared. Each plate was divided into three portions to test on the microbial activity of the common seasoning and antibiotics. E. coli was checked onto the plates using sterile method and under sterile environment to prevent contamination. We then place the antibiotic tablets onto the respective parts of the agar plates. As for the common seasoning extracts, we soak autoclave cut filter paper with a diameter of 0.7 cm into the garlic, turmeric, and wasabi extracts, respectively, and place them onto the respective parts of the agar plates. Now I'll pass on the time to Shikin. The agar plates were incubated for 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius for the E. coli to grow. If the E. coli is susceptible to the antimicrobial substance presence, a clear zone is observed around the antibiotic tablets of the soap filter paper. We used vernier calipers to determine the diameter of the clear zone and recorded the results. The antibiotic has the highest microbial effect against E. coli. From table 1, Trimetoprim shows the highest effect, followed by amoxicillin and epicillin, if respectively. Comparing table 2 and 3, we realize that the active ingredients in garlic, turmeric, and wasabi are soluble in water. We also notice that garlic has the highest microbial effect in both extract and extract residue, followed by turmeric, while wasabi shows no effect on E. coli. The effect of dissolved garlic extract is comparable to that of ampicillin. Now I shall pass the time to Jeremy. The results obtained from this project has proven our hypothesis that garlic has the best antimicrobial against 
E. coli as compared to turmeric and wasabi, but it is not as effective as antibiotics. To thoroughly get rid of E. coli on chicken meat products, we use fresh garlic cloves to marinate the meat or use it as garnishing. However, consumers should also ensure that their food is cooked thoroughly in order to get rid of any possible traces of E. coli. Thank you.